Hey, this is Sean with Sports Card Teachers, and we got another PSA submission reveal. Super pumped about this one. Going to be having a bunch of submissions to reveal here in the next couple weeks. Just been going hard on getting some cards graded, taking advantage of the PSA offer here in January. So you're going to get a lot of videos. So hopefully you like that. As you'll see with this batch, there's a lot of the same card because I bought a bunch of one card, um, a similar card. And so you're going to see a lot of that, but so there's not a whole lot of variety in this PSA submission, but we did pretty well. I don't know the exact numbers, but I'll hopefully tally that up at the end of the video. So let's get right into it. First, Jordan Love Dynagon. Jordan Love is playing great. Playoffs this weekend. Let's see what we did. Gem Mint 10 on the Dynagon rookie. Love that card. Not the silver, but this one goes for decent money, especially right now. He is hot. So super happy about that. We'll put that in the 10 pile for right now. Next card. Now we're going to see a lot of this card. All right. So this is the Juan Soto 2023 Tops Now Off Season. So this is the first card that he is in a Yankees uniform. Obviously, he got traded from San Diego to the New York Yankees. This is the first card that Tops released of him in his new uniform. So I bought a bunch of these. Actually, I, only, I bought about 20 of these. And I'm pretty pumped because I was able to send 17 in that I felt comfortable with that I thought would come out as 10. So let's see how many we got uh, of this card. So there's a 10. There's one 10. Let's see what we got here. There's another 10. Another 10. Gem mint 10. Gem mint 10. 10. 10. 10. 10, 10, Let's straighten that out a little bit, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 9, took a 9 on this one. Just trying to see here what I might have missed on it. Uh, I don't know if that's part of the card, if that's part of the case. There's a little mark there. Um, don't see anything other than maybe something going on right around here, but took a nine on this one. Another nine. A third nine. That's all of them. So I think I sent in 17. I went 14 of 17 on tens for this card. So pretty pleased by that. I'm going to go ahead and move these top three, put them in the nine pile. All right, here we go. Let's continue. Anthony Volpe, Refractor, Topps Chrome rookie card. This guy is the shortstop for the Yankees, I think, going into the season. So I'm pretty pumped about it. Took, did take a 10. Not sure if I'm going to put this for sale right away or if I'm going to hold it a little bit, but definitely a pretty sweet card there. Jason Dominguez, another Yankee, took a 10 on this. His stuff hasn't been selling very well, but, you know, I think as RBC said, leadoff hitter most likely for the Yankees coming off an injury. Got high hopes for this guy. So I'm very pleased with this card, and I don't want to sell it right away. So it might sit for a little bit, but I think this is a good card to have. Good old Jalen Hurts. Now these clear visions, if you haven't been watching, they are difficult because they get a lot of print lines that if you hold it up to the light, you can see the print line on it. There are certain ones that don't have it, and uh, I've been successful with two or three of the, of the Jalen Hurts. But a lot of them are pretty hard to get those tens on because of those print lines. But we will take it. Another Jalen Hurts Luminance Chronicles. These come with corner issues a lot of times in the packs. So super thrilled to get a 10 on that. Victor Wembenyama, Gem Mint 10. Panini Instant number 19. There's a lot of these cards released for his rookie season and we took a 10 on it there was a bunch that i got of this and only uh, two or three were i felt comfortable sending in so happy that i selected this one and we'll take the 10. 
Another one of those. All right, so these Chronicles, and this is the pink. These, these cards don't make a lot of money, and when they take a nine, you lose money on them. So I don't recommend taking these and putting these, submitting these to PSA, especially if you, there's any chance of a nine. I thought there was nothing wrong with this card. I've really been striking out with these Chronicles lately. So anyway, I took a nine on that, a little disappointed by that. Definitely going to lose some money on that one. Once again, nine on this Jefferson rookie. Not sure what the issue is. I mean, I think they're pretty well centered. I don't know. Must be missing something on the surface. Another Jefferson 9. Who knows, but it is what it is. All right, let's get off that streak. I don't like too many 9s there in a row. Oh, another 9. Took a 9 on this, and I have a bunch of this card that I got. I bought a big lot on eBay. And I uh, kind of went through them all, and there were some issues with some of the cards, but I did find a couple, um, so I'm pretty happy with, as you'll see here in a second, but took a 9 on this. This is a really cool card. We got a 10 here on this Rated Rookie from Justin Jefferson. 10, again, on the same card. 10 again, same card. 10 again on the same card. And I realize I'm putting these in the wrong pile. We don't put those in the gem piles. Put those, move those a little bit. Don't want to get those mixed up. All right, down to the last two cards of the 34 that I submitted. We took a 10. This is another one of those Panini Chronicles cards that is difficult. The Luminance and this the Chronicles Panini, they are sometimes hard because of the corners and... Uh, we did well with this one, so we'll take that 10. And last but not least, we got a Burrow Prism Black. Took a 9 on this. This is a card that RBC and I are pretty successful with when we grade this card. I still haven't figured out what the problem was. This was pack pulled. I think the biggest thing was the centering. Okay, I thought there might have been a, it might have given me a little bit of uh, leeway on the centering, but as you can see, it is a little thinner over here than it is over here. So that must have been the problem. The reason I sent it in was because, I mean, corners were great, centering in the back. Uh, so it must have just been the centering on the front. So sometimes I don't think they take into account centering quite as much as they do for surface issues or edges. But uh, in this case, definitely, definitely do take that into account. So if you look here, pretty nice stack of tens pretty happy with it stack of nines not too many nothing else other than that always a good submission when there's only tens and nines that we end up getting back hopefully you're getting a lot of tens like this and uh, i think we're at we were at 26 of 34 so i don't know what percentage that is maybe 75 percent ish uh, so can't you know can't complain about that uh, love to be 75% or higher, but you can't always do it, I know, but super happy about that. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will be posting these on my eBay, so if you are interested, they'll be there. You can also email me. If you email me and you're interested in something, I can always, um, can always make a deal because I'm not paying eBay fees, so if there is something that you're interested in, go ahead and email me and at thesportscardteachers at gmail.com. I'll do my best to get back to you, so... Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.